Hi, my name is Agatha. Welcome in Agatha's Cottage. Long time no see. I haven't been here for a while now. As you know, the last time I recorded, it was Friday, so a few weeks ago, and I did state that Alice and I are on demand. How mistaken I was. I recorded my video on Thursday morning, and that Thursday night we both had asthma attacks, and it was night out of hell. The next morning we went to the doctors, and turned out we both had bad chest infection. It took two more rounds of antibiotics and steroids, in case of Alice, three more in my case, and we are on the mend. Now, we both had chest x-rays and a few different tests and a few different visits, and we are on the mend. It's just gonna take some time. <clears throat> Unfortunately, my vocal cords um, suffered a lot during uh, the chest infection because I was coughing almost constantly. Therefore, I do need to take often breaks when I talk because my uh, throat just give up, gives up and I just can't get the sound out of my voice. <clears throat> anyway, we are on demand. Thank you for all uh, good wishes. Thank you to everyone who reached out, who asked uh, how we are doing. We are better. Um, what else? Uh, Alice and Chris are away on the scouts camp, so mommy has a weekend to sew for myself. Although today it didn't start it in the bestest way because Reaper decided to um, escape from the house, basically. So he's allowed in the garden under supervision. He's not allowed to wander up on his own because he's a dairy cat. He barely can see and hear, so it's not safe for him. And um, so he was messing around with Rainbow, they were playing and uh, I turned my back and the moment he jumped over the fence. So I spent an hour looking for him, he's home safe and sound now. He didn't hurt himself or anything like it, he just spent an hour in neighbor's garden. But yeah, <laughs> it was an uh, intense morning. Anyway. Now, back to sewing related stuff. So as you can imagine, I didn't sew much. I barely sew anything, but I did make a few things over the last few weeks. I have only two things to show you here because the rest of them are with Chris and Alice on the camp. So one of the things I made is this t-shirt for Alice. It's the same pattern as I used before. It's from October magazine. Uh, fabric is cotton jersey from my stash. It's not the best quality. It's uh, pure cotton. There is no elastane in it, so it doesn't have the greatest recovery, but it will do for a year or so when Alice will be wearing it. We added patch. Um, I got from my friend Alice a few years ago, um, and Alice likes it. I also made myself a trousers, so I will show them to you and I will pop the pictures and hopefully the video of uh, me wearing them. So I finished my wide leg trousers. These are the trousers I wanted to wear for frog tails. As you know, I miss frog tails. I was a bit upset about that, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So. For the trousers, I used Feel Pretty Pants by Elliot Mac as a base. I made them two years ago in linen and I hacked them then to add pockets. So I used the hacked version and I decided to change the waistband a bit and use tutorial by Alisa from Thoughtful Creativity uh, with regard to uh, doing flat front with the ties and I love how they are turned out. They are super comfortable. Uh, fabric is vintage cotton from Fabric Outlet in Newbridge. I bought it last year and I had something like four meters so I use up all four meters because it was very narrow only 83 centimeters wide. I love those trousers. They are extra comfortable and um, sorry 
I got few compliments when I wore them and they are very breezy and I know I'm gonna make a few more pairs in future. The next thing I made was set for Alice in brushed cotton, sorry, brushed French terry, so it's cotton French terry. Um, I'll pop the picture somewhere here. I do not have picture of her wearing it. Um, I just finished it a few days ago and we didn't have the chance to take a picture of her in it. She took it for a camp um, to use as a PJ because it's warm and cozy and it would be perfect for the night. For the jumper I use pattern from Autobre magazine, the same pattern I've been using recently for a few of her jumpers. And for the trousers I used Pants version of 11 hour gear by Patternish in size 12. Uh, the only thing I did I differently, I just did my own waistband uh, because I know that Alice prefers wider waistbands, so I just did uh, that thing differently. The fabric for the set is Brush French Terry from Ecobee. I had meter and a half and I used almost all of it. I love Elvis brush French terries because they are extra wide so you can get a little bit more out of them uh, than you would get from a uh, normal sweatshirting. Next thing I did is um, hoodie for Chris. So um, Chris is a scout group leader um, and they have their leaders um, hoodies that are grey with red accents and red logo etc um, and the hoodie he has originally is not the warmest so he asked me is there a chance I could make like a copy but using my pattern for the uh, hoodie the pattern that he likes so something that can um, pretend to be the official hoodie. So I did. I use a uh, brush French Terry from Ecobee uh, in light grey melange color and red jersey and a red cording and he loves it. Uh, actually funny thing when I was working on it Alice come over and she was like mommy why are you destroying that is scouting hoodie. So I assume that suggests it's actually a good replica. Anyway, uh, he is on a camp now, so uh, I hope uh, it's keeping him warm. And basically that's all things I made. I did some little mending here and there. Chris's trousers needed hemming, etc. But as I mentioned, I wasn't feeling up for it. What I was feeling up was fabric shopping. So, you know, those of you who betted that I won't last whole year, you're right. I lasted 107 days exactly and what broke my ban actually it started with a voucher I won during So Frugal for a crafty studio so over um, one of the weekends uh, Anne-Marie from crafty studio posted a sneak peek of fabrics that are coming and one of the fabrics was that stock it was embroidered chambray and i've been on the lookout on embroidered chambray for a while and when i messaged her and asked her what is it exactly she told me oh it's chambray and it has scalloped edge i knew this moment that the bun is out of the window because I've been on the lookout for embroidered chambray with scalloped edge for ages. So, um, yeah, I had to buy it. And, you know, I had a voucher, so it had to be used up. It would be rude not to use it. So, I, of course, I couldn't just buy sham just chambray, so I bought another fabric of it. So, um, I will show you the chambray first. And that broke my bun. Isn't that... Fabulous. I don't know if you can see the scalloped edge, but it's so soft and beautiful. I just love it. So what I'm planning to make with it is a shirt. That's a, 
I was originally thinking about Rhapsody, but I think I will just go with the plain type of shirt uh, with just a little V, not fully um, open, just something very basic, something very plain, just to highlight the fabric with slightly wider sleeves, maybe a little bit puff on the top. And I will use the scallop edge for this, like a hem of the sleeve and hem of the uh, bottom of the shirt. So that's on my to-do list, hopefully for this weekend. The second fabric I picked was because of Rachel from the French scene. And she made a blouse in this fabric and I've been eyeing this fabric for ages. And when I saw that it's still on Crafty Studio website, I decided it's basically it's a sign and it's in my colors so I thought it will look nice on me. You might ask why I said my colors. No, I didn't get my colors done. Um, when I was sick we were feeling a bit bored, Alice and I, so we were taking pictures and you know playing with different things and we decided we're gonna have a look which colors look on mommy the best and on Alice. In fairness, Alice looks great in everything. But um, so we were using some of my uh, solid fabrics to put beside my face, etc. And we decided that I'm not a warm color person, although I always thought about myself as an autumn, someone who looks good in browns and beiges and things like that. Um, I'm actually cool toned, which is odd, but it does look good on me. So bear with me. So what we did, um, actually, I will link down the video uh, where Erin from Erin Souls did her own DIY color analysis. So basically, Alice and I did something similar, just not using the filters on Instagram or on, on the pictures. We just did with the fabrics and basically the white background and took the pictures like that. So I did the trial version of the color wise on, the, on their app or on the website and it suggested that I might be winter. So we start looking into winter colors, etc. And it looks like I'm a deep winter. So all the jewel tones, like saturated colors look good on me. And we did take pictures with all the colors suggested and they do look way better on me than the brighter, lighter colors. Um, and then I start reading a bit more about colors, how it's possible that they change. So turn out with age, when your hair color changes, when your skin color changes due to age, and you know, you go a little bit more, maybe not transparent, but a little bit on the grayish side, it comes with age. Um, actually, your colors can change from if you were neutral or like I believe I was before, you can go towards cool tones anyway. So we decided, you know, I'm a deep winter. Of course, I will be still sewing and wearing stuff in colors that don't suit me. But going forward, I want to focus on uh, accommodating that part to make me feel a little bit better in the clothes I'm wearing. So um, we start going through the fabrics I have and, you know, discussing clothes, etc, etc. And, you know, we were talking about summer wardrobe, we we're going through Alice's stuff, Chris's stuff, etc. And I realized basically my summer wardrobe doesn't exist. I have one pair of summer trousers and two pair of shorts and a uh, one skirt that doesn't fit anymore so of course mommy needs new clothes um, and I went to my fabric stash and majority of my fabrics are for typical autumn winter time not for summertime 
definitely there weren't enough solids in my stash so i started looking through irish shops looking for something like a linen viscose in bold colors or like a viscose twill in bold colors or a gabardine with stretch in bold colors and i couldn't find anything that was within my price range uh, i did found some gabardine but it was way almost 30 euro a meter and that's definitely uh, not something i'm willing to pay for a fabric that i haven't worked with before and i'm not sure how it will behave so i asked rachel from the french seam and few of my friends about drisenstoffen so um they all recommended it they said they all are very happy so i went down the rabbit hole and i did place two orders with them so i did place one order it arrived and turned out everything was fabulous so i had my cart ready and i placed another one but about that in a minute so in the meantime uh, there was a drop from Ecobi with some french terries and jerseys and although i've been trying to be very good alice spotted over my arm two fabrics and there was no stopping her so i will show you both fabrics she picked this one it's a french terry and it's fabulous isn't that fabulous like honestly it's just amazing and this one isn't that cute like we were looking at all the kitties and were like oh i want them <laughs> so i picked those two fabrics for her and i picked two fabrics for me so as i mentioned i'm trying to go more towards solids so elvi recently introduced a cotton rib knit into her um range and i wanted to test two of those uh, fabrics so i picked red it's not exactly my shade, shade of red i should be wearing something slightly darker and deeper it's more tomatoey red but i like it anyway and by the way i have all the fabrics already in the stash hubs and projects already assigned to them so i have pattern picked for all the fabrics and i went with navy because it's good to have some neutral tone uh, fabric you know uh, in your wardrobe so i love fabrics from ecobee they are so nice alice cannot wait until i will make her something she actually wanted me to make something straight away and i said like nope this weekend is for mommy so anyway um i will talk about my order from this and stuff and then i will show you what i got so in my first order i focused on fabrics like solids i ordered mainly viscose uh, stretch twill and i ordered garbardine and ponty i did order one print and i ordered some uh, overlocker threads so when we were waiting for that order so he asked me if i could make him a few shirts and we did bought one last year but to be honest after a few washes it almost disintegrated and i had to fix it in few places so i prefer to just do it myself i have few patterns i will be testing them uh, and we went through the rabbit hole of looking for fabric so i showed him few fabrics in a irish shops he didn't like any of the prints so i showed him few fabrics from uh, drizzlestoffen and he picked four four shirts so they all are different types so i have viscose i have viscose twill cotton poplin and cotton stretch i also got some uh, cotton jersey for a polo shirt for him uh, but it's not here it's in the wash and i also got some prints for myself and i got more viscose 12 uh, that i liked and um, 
so I will show you everything that I got. I won't be dividing it by order. Anyway, I also got cotton viscose linen stretch for shorts and I'm extremely impressed with the quality. It's the first fabric, so I will show you first. So it's a bit wrinkled, but it has decent stretch. It has this cool texture. Uh, I got a or just meter because I want just shorts, so there's no need for more. And it's like a light gray color. And I think it would be brilliant. So I will show you fabrics basically in batches. So this is um, Ponty. <clears throat> it's in deep green. As you can see, deep green looks good to me. So I got three meters of it, if I remember correctly. I'm planning a suit type of thing. So trousers and a blazer. So for the blazer, I'm thinking either Elevated Blazer by Ellie and Mac or Metro Blazer by Love Notions. I haven't decided which one yet. Um, I love the quality of it. It's fabulous. It feels super soft. It has high percentage of um, viscose and it's very nice to touch. It washes well. They have a variety of colors, so I know... Um, after I make it and wear it for a bit and see how it wears, I know that I will be ordering more if I'm happy with overall durability of the fabric. Now, next few fabrics are viscose stretch 12. <clears throat> so I ordered few colors, all almost all for trousers. So I ordered light light green, so it's like an olive green. So it's relatively stretchy uh, on the width there's almost there's no stretch almost at all on the length but look at the drape it's very lovely fabric so i ordered ordered this fabric in khaki green in red in magenta and i love magenta so uh, magenta, I ordered almost five meters and I will make trousers and I will make a shirt to go with it. So I have kind of like a set. I ordered cobalt blue. I know I'm putting them towards my face. They will be on the bottom, but I just wanted to show you that actually I'm right that the dark color look nice on me and I do love this cobalt blue and i ordered green this green is not exactly on the um, list but when i have very similar color jersey and alice and i checked and looks nice so i said okay i'm gonna get that for trousers so for those fabrics i have anywhere between meter and a half to uh, four meet almost five meters so i will be doing different types of trousers I want to test a few different uh, patterns and they were below five euro a meter therefore it's actually cheaper for me to tell to do the thingy the pattern already in the actual fabric rather than trying to do the muslin because the calico is more expensive than those next fabric is a garbardine twill and i love it oh my god i love it so much not only is deep red color which is definitely my color and it has little stretch this way little stretch this way it's four-way stretch it has fabulous drape so i'm thinking autumn trousers in it and a little jacket so i think i have three or four meters i don't remember exactly and uh, i think it will be great as i said now i also got some um silk touch 100 percent viscose i wanted to test it what is it it was i think 4.95 a meter and I thought that I will make a black shirt with it because I don't have black shirt in my wardrobe. And it's fabulous. It's 
so silky and so great to touch it that actually I or, or it was the second order I added silver one um, as well so it's in the wash now it's just fabulous so I'm thinking either Rhapsody blouse hacked or um, just normal plain shirt like with mandarin color or something like that the second fabric is a viscose poplin it was 3.95 a meter this fuchsia color and it's lovely it's nice to touch although i do prefer the silk touch viscose it's it's lovely lovely fabric it doesn't have really that much stretch just a tiny bit and just it's basically a gift not a stretch but it's lovely color and it's lovely fabric too it washes well and it didn't bleed because i use color catcher with all of them next fabric is the only print i ordered with the first uh, order and it's chiffon i know i said i hate sewing with chiffon but i just couldn't resist this print i do like kind of geometric abstract prints and this was kind of like this so i thought it will look well with magenta trousers with uh, my navy trousers with green trousers so <clears throat> and it will look great even with my shorts so i got two meters of it and i'm planning to make rhapsody blouse in it uh, it's not typical see-through like typical chiffon um, it has a little bit more um, structure to it and I love it. Next fabric is a digital viscose and I'm extremely impressed with it. I've been eyeing it with my first order but I said no, I'm gonna wait and I ordered it with second and it's fabulous. It's super soft, super silky. Actually it has a little uh, sheen to it like a, it looks almost like a viscose satin it's very soft i love the drape of course it's wrinkled because it's after a wash and it's been in the cupboard but yeah i love it and it would be a blouse for me because i do need blouses in my wardrobe i realize i have two blouses and one ready to wear shirt that doesn't fit me anymore because it doesn't close up on the bust and I have one shirt that I upcycled last year so that's definitely not enough uh, the next fabric is cotton dobbin so I saw it and I love like any dobby uh, fabrics and it's it just print was so cute I had to give it a try I think it was for euro 50 a meter it's um, very lightweight, almost see-through, but very cute. It's slightly more sturdy than the viscose, but it's because it's cotton, but it's not as sturdy as poplin. Um, it's very lightweight, so this will be definitely a rhapsody blouse because it definitely needs French seams, and um, it's very very soft. Uh, if it will wear well i'm gonna get another one or two prints uh, just so i have them next one there's another viscose uh, digital print viscose and i couldn't resist i told me i'm mental when she saw it but i just love it so it's as you can actually see the shine here a little bit more and it feels silky almost but it's 100 percent viscose uh, so i'm planning just the plain shirt uh, blouse type of thing no color or anything like just a facing and the v-neck and or one of the big four patterns i haven't decided yet i have a lot of patterns pulled downstairs um, for tracing and cutting out so it will be a very busy weekend and the last fabric I got is this viscose jersey. Uh, I love 
I think those flowers called are called iris. I just love them. My mom had them in her garden and they are just fantastic. And I thought it would be fabulous, fabulous blouse, like a top. Uh, I'm thinking of doing new uh, Love Notions uh, Horus blouse is the blouse that was designed using polls in a Facebook group so basically people voted on options and stuff like that so I haven't got it yet I'm planning to get it today and make it very very quickly because I think it will go very well with my navy trousers and I just love this print so next four fabrics are the ones that Chris picked so first is cotton uh, stretch cotton so it does have a bit of stretch it's a bit more sturdier but he said he doesn't mind he actually prefers it and he was going towards hawaiian tropical themes with the print not necessarily with the colors because you will see a theme basically in his colors so except for one so he picked this I told him that if he doesn't want to, I could make myself a trousers in it because it would be fabulous, but he does want it. This one is just 100% viscose on the black background. I do have very similar print in my stash. I did offer it to him, but it's on the navy background and Chris hates blue. So anything navy blue is no. Turquoise is okay, but navy blue no. So uh, that's the second one. Third one is cotton poplin. So it's the most like a stiff one, but it's still lovely fabric. And they all were around, this one was I think 350 meter, viscose was around 4 euro meter, stretch cotton was I think 450 a meter so they were all before below five euro a meter so this one and you know with needing two and a half meters for his shirt um, that's adds up quickly <clears throat> and that's the last one he picked so it's a, a viscose 12 uh, definitely not something that i would pick for him but he said it's nice and actually it has some lemons that I discovered today so I might use it for um, uh, so fruity uh, the sewing challenge but we'll see but it has a lovely drape and it was on a sale I think for three, three euro a meter so I'm sure he would be happy with it and last few fabrics are for Alice so first it's a viscose rib knit it's this is very lightweight and of course in turquoise color as i mentioned alice is on the turquoise kick or turquoise or petrol kick so um she asked she had similar type of top ready to wear years ago and she loved it and when i saw that they have viscose rib knit and it's very lightweight I thought that I will give it a try. So I'm planning to just make something with uh, flatter sleeves, uh, something lightweight for her uh, during summer. We'll see how it, sorry, how it behaves. The second fabric is something that I originally picked for myself, but when it arrived, she made puppy eyes or a puss in the boots eyes, you know. Uh, like in Shrek and I just couldn't say no especially that majority of the fabrics are for me so it's this one uh, so she wants just a summer romper uh, short uh, trousers like a knee length pocket and maybe a ruffle on the top that's the closest we got to anything girly in recent months so I'm going uh, with it because she has been uh, on a um, tomboy kick recently so if she wants something girly I will make her something girly uh, then the next one is viscose 12 so the same one as I got for myself she wants a paperback 
trousers by Ellie and Mac. Uh, you know, she doesn't have many lightweight trousers for summer, something that will be a little bit like a step up over jeans or over joggers. So I think they will be suitable. And the last one is a chambray with a print. She picked all those fabrics herself. So this one. And she wants a boiler suit. So uh, we got the pattern from Simplicity. I think it was Simplicity a few months ago. And uh, there is a long sleeve, long trousers version of a kind of boiler suit. So she wants me to make it for her uh, for like, you know, days during summer when it's not that warm. And we all know how uh, how Irish weather is, so she might get more wear out of it than from anything else. So that's the fabric. And that's all the fabrics I got. As I mentioned, I did a lot of the wagon. <laughs> a lot. Uh, I do have two more orders on the way. So I have one order from Fabric Romance. Uh, they had a drop of the dead stock yesterday and they had PK cotton fabric for polo shirts and Chris has been begging me to make him a polo shirt for I would say three years now and I couldn't find anywhere proper cotton PK fabric and when it, when I got an email Basically, within 10 minutes, I was on the website and I bought the turquoise colorway and I got some fabrics from sale for myself, you know, just to balance things out. And he did ask me to make him another hoodie in the fantasy French Terry I got from Ecobi. So I made him in the colorway called Sunset. So it's like a red, orangey type of colors so he picked this time the midnight one so it's dark like a black and a little bit of gray so uh, they would be probably end of here probably mid net mid, mid next week we have a bank holiday on monday so it might take a few days so that will be it for foreseeable future i promise myself i'm not buying any more fabrics until i will sew at least 70% of what I recently bought and in case if you are interested I will show you what was in this month's subscription box for this Becky seamstress we had this cool um, uh, bias tape called and it was it says thanks I made it and of course I had to buy more of the kitty bias tape because I'm running low and the labels this month were uh, corresponding to one of the bias tapes we got before so it says please look after me and those cute little dinosaurs so i know i will be using dinosaurs for my friend's son uh, because you know he's a cute little boy so i know he will enjoy them so i think that's all what i wanted to talk to today it took me a while to record this video i know you're watching it in one go but it took me a few hours because i had to take breaks so if there are any gaps in my uh, reasoning i'm sorry in advance um or actually after the fact anyway i hope you enjoyed this video uh, i wanted to do a channel shout out it's not a small channel shout out but i think it's something that every sewist who struggles with their own style their identity should watch so um teresa from lost my thread did fabulous series throughout the month of may about her wardrobe where she wants to go with her wardrobe her styles etc uh, etc et and it's a brilliant series she's extremely honest and reasonable that's the best way to describe she's reasonable with her own expectations about what she needs from her wardrobe and she's realistic 
and I just love her honest approach. She is not into, okay, I'm going to replace everything. She is not into, I'm going to make hundreds of stuff. She is just brilliant. That's the best way to describe. I found her videos extremely entertaining and I just loved watching them. I rewatched them a few times when I was sick and uh, they kind of um, keep me sane uh, when I was feeling down. So I highly recommend you give uh, Teresa a follow if you or subscribe to her channel if you don't didn't subscribe yet and you will check uh, those videos. Uh, I will leave the link to her playlist down below. So I'm done for today. I can feel that my voice is gone. So uh, let's wrap it up quickly. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it thumbs up if you like it and consider subscribing if you are not subscriber yet. Assuming you like my content. If you don't, that's okay. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. Anyway, clean your sewing machine and change your needle. Happy sewing. Bye.